Good morning and welcome to another very busy news day here on Asia First this Tuesday morning. I'm Adam Bakhtia. With me, Julie Yu, bringing you the top international news stories live on CNA. And I'm Avril Hong, covering developments in business and the market moves you need to be following. Your headlines this hour. Italy on lockdown. Government leaders take a page from China's book and extend strict COVID-19 quarantine measures to the entire nation, saying it's necessary to defend the most fragile members of society. This as the WHO says the threat of a coronavirus pandemic has become very real, with global cases topping 110,000. But it would be the first pandemic in history that could be controlled. The bottom line is we're not at the mercy of the virus. And the hits keep coming for U.S. markets. The Dow losing more than 2,000 points for its worst day since 2008. Crude oil cratering for its worst day since 1991. Circuit breakers triggered a bear market brewing. Things have gone from bad to worse. Question is, when and how can it get better? Also this morning, the Casa Fortuna docks today in Singapore with no suspected coronavirus cases. But passengers and crew will get health checks before disembarking. In the meantime, U.S. authorities are screaming those on board the virus hit Grand Princess ship with passengers to be quarantined in three states and repatriation flights expected for non-Americans. And we begin in Italy this morning, where the entire country has been put into lockdown to stem the spread of COVID-19 amid a sharp increase in cases. Now, just a few hours ago, Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte extended restrictions on the movement of people in the northern provinces to the whole country. Mr Conte says it is necessary to protect the vulnerable in the community.